What's up guys, thank you for checking out this video. My name is Kevin Woodney Auto Design and today we're going to be installing the Nia steering wheel on my own personal Lexus GS350. Stay tuned. All right guys, a little bit about the Nia steering wheel is one is made with an OEM core. So we use the core and then built out the steering wheel all around it. By doing so, you can put your OEM airbag and all your controllers right in just like OEM. So with the near steering wheel, you can customize it your way. One, we use carbon fiber. In this case, we went with the flat bottom and round top. We also went with the black perforated leather and red stitching, but you can mix and match any color you like or even materials on our website. So for this installation, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket, a 19 millimeter socket. We recommend using an extension, making it easier on you. You also need a clip remover, a Phillips screwdriver, and a small flathead tip. All right, so always think safety first. First thing you wanna do is disconnect your battery. All right, so this is when you get your 10 millimeter socket and just loosen up your negative. Once it's nice and loose, just take it off. All right, once the battery is disconnected, time to remove the old puppy out, get a small flathead screwdriver and look for this little panel here. In the panel here, you're gonna see a nice little slot where your flathead screwdriver fits in and you just clip the uh, panel out. So once you find the little slot, Put your flathead screwdriver in there, twist, and it comes right out. Once you do one panel, go on the opposite side, and then do the same thing for this panel. So by removing the panels, you're gonna expose three clips. There's a one in this side on the top, one on the bottom, and then the other one on the other side. Just get a flathead long screwdriver, and this is gonna help you push the pins. Once you locate the pins, just push the bottom one up, Just like so. Once you do the bottom one, then you do the top one and just push this one to the side, just like so. So once all the pins are moved, you're gonna see the airbag get loosened and you do the same thing for the other side. And the airbag should come right off. So essentially what we did is this pin right here with the screwdriver, we moved it to the side. This pin on the bottom, what we did is just moved it to the top and then this pin on the other side, we move that one to the side as well. And that loosened the airbag. So now get your flathead screwdriver again. You're gonna pop this up. The same thing with this side. Once they're popped up, just take them off. Once the two clips are off, then just remove your ground. And this one is just by taking it off. Once the airbag is off, you're gonna see a 19 millimeter nut in there. Get your socket and just loosen it up. Once you remove the nut, you wanna mark a straight line off through the center of the steering wheel. And we're just gonna use a pen real quick. And it just gives us an idea where the center of the steering wheel is. So now the hard part. This is when you uh, eat your Wheaties, your spinach, and you just pull like hell. What you do is just side to side, up and down, until it comes off. So now what we're gonna do is remove this wiring harness, and this is just a clip. Just press this down, and it comes right off. Now we're gonna remove the bottom harness, and the same thing. What we do is we just get a flathead screwdriver, press this in, and take it off. Once all the harnesses are unclipped, the steering wheel slides right off, just like so. So now that the steering wheel is out, we're gonna have to take off all the controllers and just use your Phillips screwdriver or drill and remove all the uh, Phillips screws that you see. Once the screws are out, first thing you wanna do is remove your cruise control right off just like so now you flip the steering wheel around and you take out the two back screws 
That exposes the uh, two screws that hold the uh, paddle shifters in place. So we're gonna do the same thing here. So once the shifters are out, then this black piece comes right off. So that gives way for this. So now you can access the controllers and this is just pushing them out just like so. All right, so this is when you grab your clip remover and you're just gonna clip, remove this clip right here, just like so. All right, now to put everything back together, get your Nia steering wheel. And it's, since it's based out of a core, OEM core, just pass your paddle shifters through the center and align this into place. All right, so what you wanna do is remove your clips that hold the uh, airbags in place. And it's just basically lifting it up and sliding them out. All right, so now we transfer the clips to the new, new steering. Once you pass your paddle shifters to the steering wheel, then clip this back onto your cover, just like so. All right, so now we do the uh, plus to the right side and align it back the same way we removed it, just like so. All right, so now we put this counterbalance on the uh, steering wheel and with the paddle shifts in place. All right, so once the uh, paddle shifters are in place, grab the back cover, make sure it's aligned perfectly and then just clip it on. All right, so now we secure the paddle shifters with the same screw that we removed earlier. And make sure just to put the top screw. And we're gonna do the same thing for this side. So now we apply the covers back on. And now we put the cruise controller back on and secure it with the screws. And now we continue putting all the screws that we removed back on. All right, so now to put the steering back in, just run the cables right through the same place we removed them through, just like so. Once all the cables are ran, then Make sure you get your alignment where you did the marking. Once it's all aligned, and just push it in. All right, so now we make sure all the wiring are kept back on. Make sure your cruise control is also in place. And now we introduce the nut back in we tighten it up. All right, time to put the airbag back in. Do your ground and the clips. All right, now to clip the airbag back in, make sure everything's aligned and just push it in. And lastly, putting all the panels back in place. All right, finally put the battery back on and tighten up your terminal. All right, once everything is nice and secure, make sure all the electronics are working and you are good to go. Thanks again for watching this video. Please check out our website for this and many other products that we have for the Lexus GS. If you have any questions, comment below. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you again.